begin with that breaking news. We have just learned a suspect is in custody, wanted for multiple shootings. That includes a homicide in Grandview. KNBC 9's Dennis Evans is live with the latest on this breaking story. Dennis. Yes, all of this happened this morning. We're at the corner of 119th and Smalley here in Grandview. Now, we were told that a green pickup truck came through this street on Smalley this morning a little bit after 830. They said that the driver of that truck came through. Another man was pulling out of his driveway. And at that time, the man in the green pickup truck got out of his truck, pulled out a shotgun and shot the suspect five times in front of his home. We're told that the man who is deceased was starting his first day of work. He was heading off to a brand new job when he was shot. They have no reason at this time to believe that he had any interaction before with the man in the pickup truck, although we're told that that man lived around the corner from this location. We've spoken with several neighbors who are in this area. They describe it as a quiet area. They describe it as a place where things like this typically do not happen. So you have several neighbors who are out here who are shaken up, who are clearly upset, although very thankful that the suspect has been shot. This was one of three shootings that took place in this area. Police continue to investigate right now. All we know is that one man is dead, shot in front of his house five times. Police just removed him from this scene a little bit ago. And as I said, neighbors are completely shaken up because they said this is not the type of neighborhood where you see violence like this. You don't see random shootings. And to have someone shot and three shootings in this vicinity really has people in this area shaken up. Hopefully we will have more information as this story develops. But the man who is the suspect in the shooting has been caught by police. So neighbors say they are extremely relieved. Reporting live from Grandview, Dennis Evans.